Hi guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to another video. Thanks for clicking this. This is Lizzie. This is a video. Lizzie? This is another installment of my conspiracy theories. Kind of series, mini series, I don't know. In my last conspiracy theory video, I talked about the Illuminati and the Mandela Effect. And today, we are going to be talking about not necessarily just conspiracy theories, but theories in general, like things that we think are cool because we're both smart people. The first one I'd like to talk about is the White Lighter Effect, which is basically saying that a white lighter is cursed. Like, just the basic white lighter. And there's like a list of like 15 or so celebrities that all died when they were 27. They were all left-handed and they all had a white lighter either in their pockets or um, within five feet of them when they died, which is crazy to think like that many celebrities died. But they were only left-handed and they were 27. Do you have anything you'd like to, to add or to start talking about? Time should I just talk about time? Because science. Explain time. If you don't necessarily know what time is, I'm going to explain it really quickly. Time doesn't exist. Clocks exist, calendars exist, etc, etc, etc. Time is not a thing. There's no such thing as- that's all I can say is that time doesn't exist. We only have clocks. And I don't know if I've said this before on my channel, but I am a Christian. And in the realm of God and like, heaven and things of the sort, time doesn't exist there either. Like, God is not on a timeline, and so I feel like... He exists outside of it. Yeah, he exists outside of time. No, you go ahead and talk about your country's theory first. Okay. <laughs> this story that I was writing is basically about this girl, and she finds a world without time, and then it's outlawed um, because it's deemed like a threat to society. The story really isn't the point. But so basically, my, my thought was that, like, you, okay, so you have a minute, and within that minute you have 30 seconds, so that's half of a minute, then you have fourth, a fourth of a minute, then you have an eighth of a minute, then you have a sixteenth of a minute, and there's an infinite amount of fractions that you can divide that minute into, so, like, time has to go across, like, all of those fractions, and if there's an infinite amount of fractions, like, how does it get to the next minute? And that, like, is really confusing to, <laughs> to me. Um, it's also, like, the same thing. Like, if you go to, if you go half of a distance from, like, in between me and the camera, if I go half of that distance, I'll be half there. If, halfway there. <laughs> if I go another half of a dentist. Dentist? If I, <laughs> if I go another half of that distance, if I keep going those halves of those distances, I'll never actually reach the camera. But since this is like a physical world, we're in a physical world, I have to get there eventually because I can't shrink down to like sub-molecule proton size to keep getting those extra half distances. And time isn't a physical thing, so it doesn't necessarily have to make that jump. And it doesn't really even exist. Yeah. Like I said. <laughs> so so going off of her theory, I myself have a theory. You do? I do about time travel and also about parallel universes because they kind of go hand in hand because both of the theories have to do with the general the theory of general relativity discovered by Albert Einstein and his buddy Nathan. <laughs> I don't remember Nathan's <laughs> last name, but his name was Nathan. Na was Nathan. So, the theory of general relativity goes something like this. How does it go? <laughs> so, it is thought that we can only go forwards in time, we cannot go backwards in time. But my theory is that what if, like there's a book, I think it's a book called Wrinkle of Time, correct? Yeah. There's a book called Wrinkle of Time, a wrinkle in time. A wrinkle in time. So basically what that is, is taking... <laughs> so basically there's this line, and I'm going to use my headphones for this. Basically there's this line, which is the space-time continuum. Take the space-time continuum and... Pretend there's like a little ant right here. Yeah. And you want it to get here. Sure. There's an ant that is here, which was the beginning of time, and this is the end of time, supposedly. This is the beginning of time, this is the end of time. We want to get from here to here. 
eventually. So we are here. We want to get to here. That's going to take billions upon billions of years to actually reach the end of this string, my headphones. So what I think is what if we could take the space-time continuum and bend it a little bit so that there's a like a fold, like a wrinkle in time, in time. and build a bridge over that and basically go backwards in time. That was a really crappy way of explaining it. Hey guys, so I'm here editing and I realized that it stopped recording, so if you're a little confused because it jumps from one thing to the next, I'm really sorry about that. So a black hole or a wormhole is not like a hole because there's nowhere for it to go through to the other side of. It's basically like, like a balloon. You can go <laughs> into a balloon and you can hit like the back of the balloon, but you can't go any further than what it allows. So with that being said, there is a theory that people say a black hole goes completely through space and time so that you can travel to parallel universes. But my theory, it back to the headphones. You apart before you go back. Ahead. Okay, this is again the space time continuum. Okay, this is this is us. This is us. We stand here and we can go side to side. Like we can go forwards or backwards. We can go in one direction, basically. Think of a little flea or like an ant, right? What movie is that from? On the front. It's from Stranger Things. Oh right. That's that's the only way I know how to explain right. it now. Right. Oh my goodness. There is a flea on the side of this little rope here, and it can go forwards and backwards, but on a different side of the timeline. So basically, a timeline is kind of like a rectangular prism, and it has four ha that are the four different parallel universes. Or there could even be, it could be an octagon, like an oct octagonal prism. It could be any type of shape with any amount of sides. Basically what I'm saying is you can get to, if you could get... I have a theory. Can I finish? Yes. If you could get to the other side, if you could get from the top to the side of, of the space-time continuum, then you could travel in this parallel universe, which is parallel to the one behind it. Or if you could get to the top to the bottom, you could travel to our parallel universe, so yeah, 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 that's what I'm you don't have to get the whole way around, but maybe you could get through the space-time continuum. If you were, like, a, take the, like, prism, the rectangular prism, so there's, like, there's, so there's four sides. So, like, our parallel universe is obviously going to be the one that's parallel, parallel to, to us. us, and then the ones that are on the sides, like, are completely on the different. Could yeah, be they're, completely... Like, they're, like, different realms, so yeah. they're perpendicular universes, yeah. which I wrote a story about. Of course she did. Uh, of course she did. I really did. So what I'm saying is, if we could find some kind of opening or some kind of doorway or a gateway to the bottom of the prism, to our parallel universe, then we could get there. But that would take an unruling amount of energy that we as humans cannot create by ourselves we need a lot of basically magnets and things that create energy and back to the future isn't real because you can only go back in time because then the future doesn't exist um thank you guys so much for watching uh thank you lizzie for being in my video like i said her um channel will be linked in the description box below if you like this video please be sure to hit that like button if you like this video and like to see more like it please go ahead and subscribe um if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave that in the comments below. Um, all of my social medias will be down in the description box below, along with her channel. And that's all I have time for. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!